I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. If you ain't a winner, then don't come round. On my way to another city, it's a touchdown. Under late, yeah, I gotta get it in a rush now. Alright. Try this again. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Blind OGA3. We get into some more Madden. We are uh, at the end of the season almost. So, try to finish strong, get some more wins. Entering main menu screen NFL draft exhibition franchise franchise pop up menu you have three options continue playing is selected entering franchise hub screen things to do places right. and game is selected view message frustrated running back is selected I don't know how to run it back to be frustrated. Play season game is selected. <laughs> I would think the wide receivers would be week. frustrated. <laughs> Play season game team adjust lineup. My team. Free agents. Trade center. So I never really went through all of these uh options um in the review and My stuff. Coach. There's like tons Just line more up. options that you know you can get to. Members, you have three options: Blind Dog 83, Invite Users, um, Blind Dog in League Settings. Do all League. that. So, members, you actually, think I think it would be kind of cool settings. to do a co-stream and do an exhibition game. So, League. if anyone's interested in you know getting contact with me, hit me up. Members, you have uh, three options. League settings is selected. We'll do something like that. My team. All right. Things to do, you have three options. Play season game is selected. Things to do, you have four options. Play, play full game. Entering team select screen. The Arizona Cardinals, the home team, are selected. Oh, are we playing Arizona? Ready. And uh, Arizona, that's what's up. They got a uh, fit. Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is it's Madden Darryl. 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see Jared Goff and the NFC champion Los Angeles Rams as they square off against the number one overall pick, Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They come in off the extended break from the bye. I think it was much needed as well. You play two, two and a half months, you're ready for some time off to get set for the home stretch. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. They've created quite an identity, and I know they want and expect this streak to get to nine. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not a bad streak. Not a few shutouts. Which I thought that being on pro level, it would be a little bit tougher. But I have to switch up to all pro 
for next season. Because I've played a couple of exhibition games on all pro and that's that's a lot tougher. It's a lot tougher than uh than pro. Alright. Oops. The calendar is turned into summer and we're kick. in the home stretch now That's as not we're a good way to start a game. <laughs> Free yeah. kick out of bounds. Kicking team. <laughs> and that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? Definitely not, not a good way to start a game. It just right doesn't there. feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving <laughs> up yardage. First down. Of course, it's automatic first down. Set, hut, Six yard low. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. It's our time. It's our time. <laughs> they give to Johnson going right. Run, run, run. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Dang, they started off with a 44. Ugh. That's terrible. From the 44, Murray. Oh, and oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Oh, Chalked that up kid. as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. What a catch and one-handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? Don't get they get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. So here are the Everybody Rams now under their 33-year-old head coach, of bounds. Sean McVay. <laughs> They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one now overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. Up. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a got, touchdown uh, offset, yard, but the team started. found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that position. carried them through. That's all good. Golf will lead the Rams up here, first and ten at the twenty. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley, and they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the twenty-eight. So many questions about Todd Gurley in the offseason. How good is the knee? I mean, remember, he had a heavy workload the last couple of years. Nearly 4,000 yards from scrimmage, 40 total touchdowns, but just four carries in the NFC Championship game, Damn. 10 in the Super Bowl. So we'll see what kind of usage he gets this season. And he is finally out of bounds all the way down at the 30. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. A guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. He's got the yep. first down inside the 10. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late right. flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. They always grabbing him up by his face. Well, we looked at each other right Man. away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the balls moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Oh, yeah, first and goal. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Jared Goff with touchdown number seven on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. 
Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Alright, let's see if we can get a better kickoff. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this yep, one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the that's Arizona the offense now as they get set to take over. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Murray again, second and 10. This one complete to Christian Kirk. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Throwing is Murray on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. And that'll bring up fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew and it he was on his back. Sacked. So that just brings us right score. back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. <laughs> that led to the sack. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded at about the 28. Oh, that's pretty good. Refusing to go down. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The Rams uh, offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 11 and a first down, LA. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first down, it's Gurley. Fights free yet again. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley, his 26th touchdown, drawing even with Marshall Falk for the fourth most in a single season. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's finished off by a Todd Gurley touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. Oh, nice. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. 
Don't forget, later tonight, Sunday Night Football, we've got the Pats and the Texans from NRG Stadium in Houston. And then tomorrow night, Monday Night Football, it's supposed to be really cold up in Seattle as we've got the Vikings and the Seahawks from CenturyLink Field at 8.15 Eastern. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 22. There's Murray. He gets this one to Johnson. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Before this season started, Johnson said this new offensive system would allow him to really be effective in the passing game. He actually likened it to 2016 when he had almost 900 receiving yards. He said one of his goals is to become the third player in league history to hit 1,000 yards rushing and receiving in the same season. Also noted that he's really comfortable in this scheme. It's like his days, his college days at Northern Iowa when he was part of a team that based out of a shotgun with a running quarterback. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Yep. Then for the quarterback. From the gun on third down, Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he oh, no, goes he down. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. I thought he had got that first half off, to get that lead. Apparently not. But yeah, I was trying to go after that sack. Here's Andy Lee now, standing right on his own five yard line. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Fielded just inside the 20. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And the Rams getting set to go now. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watch 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how do we how do them combat it? Yeah. Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Out. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they played the responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Now on second down, this is Gurley. Still churning. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. He's going to float this over the middle deep. Incomplete. Oh. He had his hands on Dang. it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The sorry, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. I hope I can get this one. Come on. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Oh. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. And our focus now moves on to Larry Fitzgerald. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now. And they're losing, so he's probably a little I was hoping hungry. I could get that. And you know the guys the on one defense yard are aware as well. Like I did and they're really one. excited that he has really no catches. Pick. But they're also worried. Because well, really a lot of times it's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he yeah. finally explodes, look out. Yeah. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. And it'll make this a second and long. 
Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Man, That's three sacks now. And this team came into the yep. game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this What's is going not, on? It's not been their bread and butter. I don't know. Is a blind squirrel finding a nut <laughs> or is this something they can build on? Well, they found some <laughs> momentum. They found a crack in that offensive line and they're putting it to good use. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Murray going to throw. Johnson's got it complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Murray now to throw. And the catch made by Johnson. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Todd Gurley in the offense. They get set and trot back out there now. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. <laughs> Let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Able to fight for one tackle. And they're going to be waiting for him as they get him behind the line. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13, so let's get an update on what's going on. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Jimmy Garoppolo, sharp in the victory, as his guys find the win column for just the second time all year. From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And it's the visiting L.A. Chargers who have the lead in that one at halftime. The veteran, Philip Rivers, with a couple of touchdown passes there. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh. Check on the Steelers at home at Heinz Field. And that one all even as they play the visiting Cleveland Browns. In the game you're watching, it was Jared Goff with a strong first half. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. Yeah, see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Wow. So that flag will cost them 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. Still on his feet. Yep. Stays on his feet. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. 
And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. From the gun on third down, gone. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he's going to get this deep on Arizona's side of the field. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Oh, yeah. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and the protect this lead right in the third there. quarter. And I think ground, this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Uh, teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. It's a loss of four. Now third down. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They don't go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, he might reduce it. Might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. that? Eight ounces is good. All right, just check it. So on fourth down, here comes Greg Zerline to try and get three for the Rams. All right. See if we can get in here. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. Zerline, of course, last year had likely the iconic field goal of the season, booting that 57-yarder in the Superdome to send his squad to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you really hurt the Saints fans on that one, didn't you? Sorry. They didn't want to hear that at all. But this guy deserves his nicknames, Greg the Leg, Legatron, because the ball goes through the post at a heavy rate, 87% in 2018. It's a very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. <laughs> The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here we go, D. Get off the field. Second down. Murray sets to throw. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow mm. motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the yeah. call? I do. Yeah. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make yards. people miss and pick up the Not first really. down. In this case, it didn't happen. Hey. 
like getting a completion behind the line. Yeah, it's a completion, but you didn't get no yards. So here's Andy Lee now. Might as well, he's just been one of their few the bright pass. spots so far. So at least you won't have negative yards. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Todd Gurley in the Rams offense set to take over. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half it gets ugly in the second half they've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play again they run with Gurley <laughs> touchdown LA <laughs> Todd Gurley with touchdown number 27 that ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year and the Rams tack on to their advantage so what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run a lengthy one takes him over 200 yards now for the game and I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards, and they, oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. Entering, pause screen, resume. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. Oh, He'll Having kick it pause. away. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. From the 36, Murray. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll pull it down. Kyler Murray, a thousand yard rusher, is a quarterback in his Heisman campaign in Oklahoma. He's got the first down. Well, we know that Murray can run the football. He rushed for a thousand yards during his final year at Oklahoma, better than seven yards per carry. And Cliff Kingsbury says, I trust him running the football. This is a guy that has known his quarterback since 2012 when Murray was a sophomore in high school. Kingsbury was in the OC at Texas A&M. He would go on to take the Texas Tech job, but the two maintained a great relationship. Both are from Texas, both quarterbacks, and both with fathers heavily involved in their football careers. With Cliff Kingsbury, he trusts his quarterback implicitly. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for Crabtree that time, and that'll bring up second down. 
So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get it to Michael Crabtree there, and it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Murray. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Almost had that one. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. 27 yards there, a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. All right. Let's go, V. Let's go. Let's go. They run. It's Gurley. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. First throw now for the backup, Bortles. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. Oh, they cool. sack him back right around the 44. Bortles the linebacker just Jordan Hicks flying in there for the sack. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to Entering pause screen. Call to mount. Super oh. exit game. Depth chart. Oh, Challenge so play. Medical hurt. center. If anyone got hurt. Entering injury report screen. Seven rows, four columns. Left oh, filter, Rams. Not. Right filter, oh, all God. player name, Jay. Player name, Jay Goff. Yeah. Yeah. Position, Kugi. Injury type, abdominal tear. Abdominal tear. Injury length, Kugi. Oh, Injury man. type, position, Kugi. Position, Lulb. Player name, Jay Lawler. Dang. Entering well, coaching screen, depth chart. As much as I don't really right, like golf. They got to protect it. 
well, that's he's certainly the best playing quarterback we got well <laughs> right now. Take whatever so, you want underneath, by all I means. I mean, this game's pretty much over, but uh, I have to check and see how long he's going to be out with an abdominal there. Like, that seems pretty serious. I don't know. But I have to check it out. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll kick it away for the second time. All we got to do is just keep them from going pretty much. And this game will be over. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but... All right, let's go back and see. Entering coach settings. Medical center. Entering player name Jay Goff. Position QB. Injury type abdominal tear. Injury length to QB. Uh, In injury length to QB. It's kind of entering coaching screen you got to get points and okay all right i'm being facetious here but you get points you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one and he's taken down trying to do a little too much getting outside of the pocket and it results in a sack Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Yeah, have nobody open. The defense. Now Murray throwing on second down. He's going to let it fly. Oh, this is taken in. It's Whoa. complete. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. So the line of scrimmage the all the way up to out. midfield now as they've got it first and ten. Yeah. Here's Murray from midfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target, but it'll be second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Stop your whining. Murray, one final try. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout. So it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way. But the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So for L.A., they continue to keep pace for that first round by as they move to 11-1. and one, And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to 4-8. and eight, And they'll get a chance to redeem Coast themselves game report player stats. next week. Finish game. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. Not bad. I guess the is my homie, so many shit out. Like the good position. Make the playoffs. Entering player upgrades screen you have four options Austin Blythe is selected Entering franchise hub screen things to do View message X Factor QB View message X Factor LB is selected Upgrade players
Entering player upgrades screen, you have three options. Taylor Rap is selected. Oh, yeah, definitely. Run support. Hybrid. Run zone. Run support zone. On zone. Tenzel Smart. Sebastian Joseph Day. Power Rusher. Speed Rusher. Power ru Run Stopper. Mm. Power Rusher. Last guy. Run stopper. Power rusher. Gonna throw some more power in him. We're doing really good as far as like getting fat. So trying to balance out power rushing and speed rushing. New in depth chart. Goals. Entering franchise hub screen things to do. Alright, so we upgraded our player. He's really good. Taylor Rap is a good player. So. Oh, actually, let's see here. Team adjust lineup. Members you have invite user team adjust line my team free agents my adjust lineup member lead transactions schedule stats oh I guess we go check check members the you have schedule. three lead settings see who we play next. lead transactions standings ah things to do you have five options view weekly awards is selected. Team adjust lineup. Members, you have three options. Team adjust lineup. My team. Free agents. Could probably go see about. Uh... Adjust lineup. Members, you have three options. Lead set. Oh, lead God, standings. But... Stats. News. Standing. Stats. Standings. Stats. Options settings. Things to do you have five options. View weekly awards is selected. Oh, Mem yeah. Options we'll settings. The, uh, Sliders. User the... management. Demand release. Settings. Lead stand stats. Check the schedule. Schedule. There we go. Entering schedule screen. You have two options. Team schedule is selected. Lead schedule. Team schedule. Entering schedule screen. 17 rows, 11. Week, week 2. Alright, we week, are. Week 7. Way week past week that. 10. Alright, so what? Week 10 was like. Game day and time sun. Game opponents at Steelers. Yeah, Steelers. Game opponents versus Bears. Game yep. opponents versus Ravens. Yep. Game opponents at Cardinals. Okay, so this was the uh, last game. Game opponents versus Seahawks. Alright, so we playing the Seahawks again. Game opponents at Cowboys. Oh, then the game after that is the Cowboys. Game opponents at 49ers. I play the 49ers Game again. opponents versus Cardinals. Week, week 17. G game opponents and versus play Cardinals. The Cardinals again. And then that'll be the end of the regular season. Game day and time, sun 4.25 p.m. Game day, week, week 17. Oh, alright. So we gotta play the... Week, week, week 9. Cardinal. Entering, schedule screen, you lead schedule. That's not too bad. Entering, franchise hub screen schedule. Members, you have things to do. You have five options. View weekly awards. Is select sliders. User management. Demand release. 
Settings. League schedule. Right. Members, you have three options. Team adjust lineup. Things to do, you have five options. View weekly awards is selected. Alright, go. So. Another win. We setting up. Uh, we already set up pretty good for the playoff. So I'm thinking like if we keep winning, uh, we we'll definitely get into the playoff. Hopefully, get into the Super Bowl, win a ring, and that'd be good. And then also, um. Um, get some trades and all that kind of stuff. So for uh for the next season, I'm gonna do a lot more as far as getting uh you know like trading players and keeping track of uh, who's doing what and actually doing more practicing and all that kind of stuff. This first season was more just to show that you can play an entire season, um, in you know Madden 20. With the accessibility options that they have set up, you can play an entire season on pro or rookie. I guess if you wanted to play rookie, um, you probably play on rookie too. So, uh, so this season is pro. Next season will be all pro, and that means it'll be a lot tougher. Won't have a lot of these shutout games, I'm sure, because in that one, you actually like I'll actually have to. Uh, do a whole lot more as far as getting yards and and stuff like that um in this uh this season it was you know it's not too bad um if you know how to uh break tackles and stuff like that then it's it's not so bad so but with all pro it's more it's tougher and it's more realistic so uh but we'll see about next season. See about making making the playoffs and you know trying to make it to the Super Bowl. So, so I will catch y'all later. Chat button, one of four, capture and share tab, set up, start recording, capture screen, broadcasting, live on mixer, share last capture, broadcasting, live on mixer, button, overlay one, window, stop broadcast.